Chicken soup is good for the soul and we've got a super green version for you today that's gonna to give you the boost that you need. And we're gonna start off with our base first. So I've got a head of broccoli. I'm just gonna use the stem in the beginning and then we'll use the florets as we finish the soup. So just keep that head aside. Slice the stem up. And then I'm gonna chop up an onion, some leek. We're gonna use most of it except until it gets dark green and halve the leek. And then just slice those up. And then two sticks of celery, which I've washed as well. Um, we'll just halve those and even use these celery leaves. Don't be throwing them away. And we'll just give those a rough chop. And just get quite a large saucepan onto medium high heat. Just one or two tablespoons of oil. You don't need terribly much. Okay, so I'm just gonna tumble that into the saucepan. Give it a bit of stir and we'll cook this for about three to four minutes until it's nice and softened. And then while that's cooking down, I can just get ready on some of the aromatics. So the time we can just take a bunch of the sprigs and just pull the leaves off. Don't worry if you get a few of the, the softer sticks on it. Some garlic cloves. And then some ginger. Instead of peeling it with a peeler, just grab a knob of the ginger and use a spoon kind of force off the peel. It's a lot easier to do if it's a younger piece of ginger. And then a decent sized piece of ginger. I'm just gonna slice that and give it a rough chop. Okay, that's cooked down nicely, so I'm just gonna add a generous amount of pepper, a bit of salt, and then the garlic, ginger, and thyme. And they're gonna cook that for about one to two minutes. We don't wanna burn that garlic, but just until it's all nice and fragrant. So I've also got a lemon. I'm just gonna slice that. We'll take this out at the end but the lemon's just gonna add a great perfume to it. And then those whole slices in. And then the parsley we'll use later on. I'm just gonna use the stalks and we can chop those up and add that as well. So make sure you get a good chicken, a free range organic if you can. And we're just gonna put that whole chicken in. And I'm gonna put it breast side down into the pan. And then I'm gonna top it with some chicken stock just to give it a boost in the beginning, even though we're kind of making our own stock in any event. And enough water just to cover the chicken. Bring it to a simmer and I'm gonna cook that for about 45 minutes until the chicken's cooked through and starting to break down and then we can continue. So that chicken's been going for about 45 minutes. I'm just gonna take the actual chicken out and then we're gonna add a few more finishing touches to the soup while it cools down. So first got some uh, Brussels sprouts halve and then slice. So it's the Brussels and that head of broccoli that we'd reserve. So now just kind of chop up the chunks a bit and then just finely chop everything. Again into the bowl. Cavolo Nero. So I'm going to take a few of these leaves. This is quite a big bunch. And you're just going to strip the leaves away from the stems. So you can see there's this thick stem. You don't want to use that or eat it. So just start from the base and just pull it and you'll get left with the stick and then you're gonna use the leaves. So we'll just do that for the rest of them. And just bunch all those leaves together and then just give it a fine shred. Okay, then lastly, we just got some herbs. So some of that parsley that we used the stalks earlier and also some dill. So just grab both of them and we're just gonna give them a bit of a chop. So then we can just firstly pick out some of those big lemons that are in the soup still. And then we can add the sea of green quinoa in here, it actually thickens the soup a bit. So while that cooks down for a few minutes, I'm gonna have the fun job of shredding the chicken. We just wanna get rid of the bones and the skin, basically. So it'll come off really easily. And just take all those bits of chicken, and we're just gonna shred them and pull them apart now that the chicken's cooled a bit. And we'll just go back into the soup and just give it a stir through. And that should all be done now, once that quinoa is just slightly bloomed. We're gonna season with a tiny bit of apple cider vinegar, salt and pepper. So get a couple of bowls. This will keep in the fridge, obviously, but if you want to eat it straight away, it's still nice and green, beautifully hot. The room smells of comforting chicken soup. And just to make it even a bit more green, we'll add some, some extra herbs. And there it is. You will feel like the fittest, most virtuous angel after eating this. It's good for you, it's yum, and it's going to feed you for a while.